Hey yo, beautiful family, I go by the name Good to the Widow, first born of the elephant, Mr. Ling Ling Wei. Take to take, but a man can try. Kiss me the Wotako, to end Manasako. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time zone. Or the evening, this side. So today, the video will be short, so just be out with me. We are on that. Um, I'm out of the village, going this side. And this is our village road, eh? This is our village road here. So don't mind. As you see, we are on the motorbike because we enjoy our ride here. We are heading to this side of the pop land up there. Yeah. So that's it. Join in as much as you can. The people will always join in. God bless you. God bless you for... I um, appreciate for our people. Yeah, for coming to join my videos, watching my videos full full. Every day you spend your time, you create your time for me and the Redeemer Squad. God bless you so much. I really do appreciate that. So, don't mind the video of today, you just enjoy it. Yeah, as we keep you in touch, I will be, I will be in the village here for some for today uh, and then tomorrow I'll travel back to not to the village but I will go for one day visit a brother in the city after visiting a brother in the city then I'll be back to uh, to the village I know my crew have missed me for all this day I've been out but we are still one family we are still there so let them not mind anything because we are still together there yeah so this is our village as you can see this is our village market center see the station here as we uh, go by and i know a lot of you people out there who have traveled this side know this place so stay tuned yeah yeah you see the sunset the other side we check that water bus this one uh, let's see if we can border it we want to go visit there is a small island that is next to mainland where you see me because all this is a lake you see that so just want to go toward that place so stick with me
Hey, show, so family just left the water bus there and we are in this island here. Uh, I just want to try to explore it out for you. Yeah. Check out this type of sand here. Hello beautiful family. So this was the island you see me visited here. And also some beautiful corn. You do see them. So this a small island with a with a lot of community. There is a school here. There is an hospital here school both primary and secondary and also you can see the beautiful neighbor within so these are the places that has, are very good family out there if you might fall in love with africa i'm telling you eh, i'm touring such these places just for for the content for the view people to see the view the beautiful view of this side and also you can see the lake this is the lake there eh? this is the lake you see the beauty of the lake the sun is up there maybe it might tamper with my my lens and also you see the beautiful neighbors within these are very beautiful places more so not on a bad way more so to our travel commando i am marwa marwa if you are out there you are listening to me not on a bad way hmm? i might advise you to come by such this land this prime land and they are not that expensive this prime land they are not that expensive marwa and you come here you invest in it you will build something big like a resort eh? there are no resort within these places i have walked in different places you have seen so here there are no those serious businesses apart from a lot of people venture in the water others do plant corn you see this our daily brain yeah that's build us build our muscles every day so i come to tour this place so you can see it's a prime also that side this one is a primary school yeah this is a primary school stretching like this the other side is the second part of it then we have the hostel the other side so these are prime places that marwa if can venture into the serious business there is potential in it okay so stay tuned these are secondary school this side there's a church another church down there these are dispensary another community there these are no open feel for the school here eh, where they do their sporting so i will just walk around not to the far end and yeah i'm just going back to the mainland you see the mainland there so these two guys uh they were the one touring they were my two guys showing me around so this has been my cry these are the places um, i am marvel could, could come and visit marvel these places with potential here fishing resort you are very good with the resort a very nice one and you are good to go yeah so where you see this hills up there that's the mainland that's where we came from you see this hill we came from there so we want to go board the uh, boat as we go to the other side yeah and the community here are very lovely 
as you can see their community within at the same time facility are just near immediately here no any going far away like you see the dispensary there some some goats and uh, limestock you also you see cow the other side so these are beautiful community mm -hmm. so, so stay tuned yeah fall in love with this this is land here what to expect like you see somebody has built something nice you see this perimeter wall stretching to the water what to expect here is number one uh, building material stones these stones you see these they are from this land they just cut it for me and also the sand is the black sand blend very nice with the uh, cement so here is just for you to purchase like uh, uh, cement and uh, look at that guy there <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, okay so you know these are private these are private property we are not <laughs> authorized to view in because we do see people here and there but maybe we can just try to steal for you a little bit but it's a private property you see that and it's within this island these are the potential of my friend Marwa you can come and tap into uh, some nice resort or maybe anybody who will fall in love with Africa out there yeah and you feel like you want to spend your retirement in africa something like that or you want to venture into something i might advise you to come in such areas you see beautiful unit here also the neighbor the other side the water is there there is a lot of activities that people can venture in here i'm just trying to market it out for anybody who might be willing to such a place the land is not bad fertile as you can see the corn this side me and the water is available the bigger body of water fresh water and uh, so so many other things you can find them over here so it's up yeah you can check it out yeah we are just trying to tour around for you anybody you might fall in love with see this very beautiful neighborhood yes look at the corn this side don't worry uh, within this corridor we are walking through uh, this just a uh, short path separating the neighbor this looks like another neighbor this side this one also the other side see so this this the place out there if you might fall in love this place this is land is good the land here is still cheap not that expensive with a lot of potential people, a lot of people ventured into fishing and uh, uh, fishing both in the lake uh, others have, have tried fish cage more so fish uh, caging is good because it's expensive but uh, it's do have a quick return fish, uh, fish cage also you can do 
some sorts of farming like uh, mixed farming what available you can ir irrigate whatever you want because if these people over here venture into fishing those fish you have to even if you cook it you have to spend also something uh, with it more so like uh, we call it skuma wiki this side that is colored green and uh, yes and other things so you can check it hey also you see this side oh uh, they do fish different type of fish nile perch tilapia and the small fish like sardines it's called something like sardine sardines sardines is for men something like that and also as you can see the other side you see those fellows in the water uh, with that uh, tanga they call it tanga the other side you can see and this area is the fish net you see this type of net is for uh, omen yes this is for men Hmm? Hey, hey, this is the here. This is the here if you have never seen it. And they do use this fish, uh, fishing type of fishing net to fish your men out. So if you have never seen it down, this one is the dry one. I have not found those ones that are fresh from the water. I will have shown you how it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, so, family, you, you see, these are the boats that they use to go to fish the sardines and other fish like tilapia, Nile Punch. So, I think those ones are under repair. You see, those one, uh, the guy is painting it out there. Yeah, that's their logo. They more all the same look like... Uh, Jamaican because they do have this mixed colors of the Jamaicans eh? and we love it a lot of li of it here they do have that taste of uh, Jamaican colors even the other side where I visited you have seen it it's very good and and, and a nice texture a, a of beautiful family so you see this this is the boat they use to go fish um, sardines which is omena and it's the activity here it's only happen at night and this is the technique that they use uh, these are the bulbs you see this these are the bulbs and uh, this one is the energy source the the battery so this battery as i do see it they tie it in my floater to float any any yen kengere okay so uh, this type of wood floats on top of the water so they tie this battery which powers the bulb at night and uh, and what else oh so oh so nanga stops the boat why is it the activity happening at night like this yes so this one is used to uh, oh so this one is to guide you the direction to pull over the net oh, okay and also these are the net yeah uh, and what about this one? Oh, this one are the floaters to support the battery. Oh. oh, and why do you tie it with the stone? Oh, so in other words, this one also are acting like Kananga. Oh, Nanga, Nanga in English is anchor. Yeah, so they use these stones yeah, to use as anchor uh, with the support of these floaters to support the batteries there. And let's see. So this is the uh, the amount of what 
uh, the lights required yeah. to to fish yeah. so you surround it at one area or you give it distance uh, distance oh then you surround it with the net yeah. oh so yeah. which means these lights they are attracted yeah. mm. oh. one by one okay so these lights are used to trap the fish at night i think maybe when it's lighting at night the insects come at a trap the sardines from coming down to eat at the same time they are trapped by the net and the fishing goes on so that's it i just wanted to give you a clue of uh, how they do this proce process of fishing the sardines uh, also i have shown you they are the dry ones so stay tuned family i just wanna board this boat back to the main line that side so stay tuned hey yo family so i've bought bought this small boat here you see it hey yo family so i have lived the island there and i'm going back to the mainland where i uh, i came from i i went there to just show you around to see how around look like but there is still more to explore the other side and this side we were there yesterday where we did a story of nyamgodo there and uh, the water bus that I came with, they say it's going to a different direction to the other side. So here we have just bought the, uh, this one. Also, it's used by these fishermen who so do fish bigger Nile Nile patch. So after they do, they are catching. Also, is at night. I think this is, uh, they use this one as storage. And also, I have heard. Well, here at night they do spread something to rest while they are doing fishing at night. So this is the island we are living uh, behind, going back to the mainland. You see these bigger hills and the mainland is this side, you see. This is the mainland, this side. So it's good even if you can see the water is clean. Eh? 